Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Matthias, aka White Fan from the Platinum Movies, and today we are finishing our pig farm by decorating it and doing all the technical needs for it. And of course, we need to get all the pigs in the farm. But before that, I will have to find more diamonds, so I will do a few hour mining session right now. Oh yeah, I found a diamond. Is there only one or is there more? Yeah, two, one, two. Oh, really? Only two. I made myself a diamond pickaxe so I can get obsidian for enchantment table. Of course, I need to find more, uh, not obsidian, but diamonds for that table, but hope I will find those fast. Now I'm back from that long mining session and I managed to get lots of diamonds, so I mean lots of diamonds, because I used my, uh, not shield catch, but fortune pickaxe and it helps a lot, even this is only fortune 2 and you can get like 3, I think it's the best, but there was diamonds everywhere and it doubles and triples with that fortune 2, those, so there is pretty much. Also I got these all, not all of these because maybe half of those I already got, but I got pretty much good stuff. It was very good mining session and now we have diamonds for full diamond armor, so I think it is time for make those and enchant all of those with those 44 levels. Let's enchant these. By the way, this is pretty OP looking Enchant them, place. <laughs> this is <laughs> oh so beautiful. But yeah, first let's see what I can get for my sword. Sweeping edge. I'm going to go with that. Yeah. Well, I don't like knockback, but yeah, it's pretty good. Now we have full diamond. What we can use? Oh yeah, it looks so nice. So pretty. Next I will start to get pigs to that farm. I managed to find three volunteers for our farm. So now I try just get those saved to there. Maybe first time in my Minecraft history I managed to get all of three staying with me. Every time they are just running away and not interesting in my card. But this time this is like a perfect situation. Now I get those in for my hole and I already get one little biggie and next I need to finish this. I made this farm a little bit better by lowering this one block down. Now I can stand here and kill the pigs by sword if I want or I can just push this button. When uh, this dispenser will dispense a lava for there a couple of seconds and take it away. Then all the adults will die, but all the babies will survive down there. Then here will be a water stream going that way, so all the babies will drop there. And how they are dropping is I'm feeding the adults here when I, I'm standing here. There will be a water and with that the adults will jump. And when they are jumping I can get my carrots and just feed them. After that. When I'm leaving, I need to press this button, or I mean, stand on that, and then the piston will extract and push the old babies down there. I think it will be pretty cool. Now I need to try to get all the pigs in the farm. No, I don't need all the pigs, but some, maybe two. Other, come on. Yeah, good boy. Then come inside. Come on. Yeah, 
Then let's go to your place to live. Just go there. Why don't you go? Go. Just jump. Come on, dude. Well. Ah. Oh, why did you go there? Now I'm going to push you there. I only need to one. Then you just go there. No. No. Oh yeah. And oh. And I'm sorry, but you didn't go there. Yeah. Then I can feed those. I don't have water there yet, but let's put it right now. Maybe if I take that away. Uh, do I have yes? Then let's test it. Does it work? Yeah. Yeah, maybe you have already eaten. Yeah, that's good. Then. Oh, yeah. That's because I don't have observer or observer yet. But I will have to get uh, that later. Of course, does this work? Yes, it does. When I hit that, that little pig came out. And now you are there until you will crow. Let's try this. Oh, <laughs> I haven't hooked this up yet. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, but I will finish this and I will start building a little carrot farm here. There it is. Now I have made some little carrot farm. So when I need carrots, I can just grab here and plant again and then feed my pigs. I used dark oak on sides and for roof I used stone. This is a nice little cellar and uh, it doesn't need any more decoration because it's it will be always closed. Then I started to decorating front yard. Here is this little road. I'm not going to use cobblestone. I'm just marking it out. And here will be a car road. I've been planning how I'm going to do this and I will do this kind of road there. And this is for inside walking and it's made out of uh, light gray concrete powder. And then this is dark gray concrete powder. And it will continue to the road, which is going to be there. Uh, and this will uh, lower down a little bit. Uh, I will look at this to continue somewhere, maybe here. And then continue here. And here will be some kind of pool. And now it's finished. Here's a little pool with that new concrete block which by the way looks amazing and here is some bushes and some flowers and some uh, what are those trees of course yeah and here you can just be like la la da 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 next i will have to get all the pigs in and some way or another to keep them in and now the residents are in so piggies are in they can just... No! No! I didn't put here any optic obstacles so they can't go away. Yeah, I will fix that. Come back, you little sneaky animals. Come on. The last one. Now it's done. I think the background looks okay. I made some terraforming here so pigs cannot escape. And... I took some birch wood away. There is one more which I have to take away. But I think we made great looking house for piggies. Next I will do a cobblestone generator. Uh, I'm not sure where I'm doing that, but maybe there. I was testing out how I'm going to do this cobblestone generator. There is water and there is also water and here is two blocks of lava. So, I think this will be good design. Let me change up the survival. And when I push that, that will close the door and it will start to give me some uh, pickaxe. 
or now I now it gives me a logs, but after I put their pickaxe, it will give me a pickaxe. Then I will only sit here and push this, and I will get a lot of stone or a couple of stone, which depends am I using silk touch or not. I just wanted to tell you that this is not wholly my design. Let's build this into the survival. I think this could be best place for our stone generator. Not there what I first decided, but now I think this is great place. So I will dig out some space. I dug some more space and here you can see all the items what we are going to need. Uh, we need four water buckets, two lava buckets, uh, some chest where are we are going to store our items, so one lever, 30 redstone, one redstone lamp, three redstone repeaters, two droppers, one carpet, two iron trap doors, and one iron door, and five hoppers, and some building blocks. Because this is just a cobblestone generator and we can see it anywhere, so I'm just using cobblestone. Here we are going to put two hoppers facing that way and some chest next to it. Then we need to place our blocks like this so we can fill this with water. But before that put iron trapdoors here and here. Now I got all the water placed so then I can put lava in. And then we can hear that sound when it turns into stone. Now we have to wire this lever to this trap door and this door and this circle. Now I made myself a comparator. I can put it there. And now I think this is functional. When I do this, tick, 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 tick. Yeah, this works. Let's see if uh, if my stuff are here. Oh, not the coast blocks. Yeah, it's pretty good. I think now I will do a one hour test run. Yeah, so I just <laughs> watch my computer and I noticed that it's broken. We managed to get pretty okay amount. It has been around half an hour, but there is a lava. Why there is a lava? If somebody you guys know how to fix this, please let me know. But I think I should just stick with the pros plan and watch some tutorial how to do this. <laughs> because this does not work. Uh, Crap. My plans for next episode is go there. Go to the nether and conquer some nether fortress. I think it's going to be a pretty stressful episode and I might die a few times, but hope not. But thank you for your time today and please let me know did you like the video and what I can do to please you more. I'm glad you watched this video and if you like it, please press thumbs up. And if you want to see more of these episodes, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for your time. I was Matthias, aka Whiteframe, and please join me again next time. Bye bye.